everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to this project. Today, what I thought we'd do is make some flowers. Now, for the project that's coming up, the next card that we're going to make, I've used these flowers. And I thought, rather than trying to explain how I've done them, I'll do a quickie to show you how I've actually made the flowers. They're really cute and they're really easy. There's a couple of things you might need for them, for the dies, etc. But I'll show you them as we go along. And if there's any links that I can use, I'll put them in the description box at the bottom. The paper that I've used is paper that I've made using a stamp. The stamp is from Anna Griffin's Chartboard Stamps and it says on this special day I've taken a sheet of A4 and I've stamped it one after another using the stamp. I've used a stays on black ink pad and it does give a really good effect. The other paper that I've actually used in the project is using the same stamp but I've used an Anna Griffin ink pad and I'll show you the difference when we uh, do the project but for this one we're going to be using the black paper to make the flowers. So what I've done is I've started off and I've cut out from the paper four flower bases. Now this was using the peony die cut from the Spell Sue Wilson um, dies and it's one of the sizes that you get in the set. Again, I'll put a link at the bottom, but it's the peony die uh, to create this flower. So you cut it out four times and then you scrunch them up and open them again. And you do this for three of the four. So we'll just do this. Now I didn't prepare so much of this because I wanted you to see it from scratch really. So we're just going to do it all step by step. So that's three of my four. Now the fourth one, what I do is instead of scrunching it, I curl the tips of the petals. I don't know if you can see that. So I just curl them under using some kind of tool. I'm using my pokey tool because that works great. But if you haven't got a pokey tool, maybe use a pencil or a pen, something that's quite thin on the shank to be able to get a nice little curl. So next what I do is I'm going to work on a piece of wax paper just to save my gorgeous cutting mat. So the first thing I do is I lay the petal with the curled edges down. Then I'm using glossy accents as a glue because I find it dries quicker. I'll take the next set of petals and I put one over the top of the other and I make sure the petals are over the openings of the petals below. Then I go in for a third set of petals. Again I make sure that the petals are over the openings of the petals below basically so there's no gaps and it's like building a wall you don't put the same brick of the next one and so on so you layer them and then the last one a bit more glue and I put that one but I make sure that I push the petals up and pop that in the centre. Again, making sure that it's not gap over gap. So that's my final one. Then using an embossing tool, I push the middle in and I just pull the petals up a little bit just to make sure they're not flat. So that's the basis of the petals. The next thing I do, now this is my stamens die and it's from a Spellbinders collection. I'm going to be very honest, I can't remember the name of it. So if there's anybody that watches that knows the name or the number of this die, then that might be very useful for everybody. But you might have a daisy die or something very similar that you can use. So I've die cut it 
in an opposite colour and it just so happens to be the metallic cerise layers from Anna Griffin but you could use anything so I'll fold this up and push the petals up to make a cup shape and then I go in again with the glue into the centre of our flower and then I place the stamens right into the centre and I push it down using either my pokey tool or my embossing tool so then that's sitting right in the middle and the last thing for the centre I make a paper rose like this one of the curled roses and it's from the Marianne Creatables die now this one's got the scalloped edge, you could use the scalloped edge or the straight edge, it doesn't matter. If you haven't got this die, you could draw a circle onto a piece of card and then cut it into a spiral and then use that. So then, after I've die cut that and I did it into the matching paper, I use my quilling tool to actually curl it and that makes it really simple. If you haven't got a quilling tool, then you can curl it around your finger or without. You don't have to have anything that, see, you can do it without. If I just pop that down, so you can just roll it as long as you keep it nice and tight. So I'll just push that in when it gets to the edge, and then we add glue just at the bottom. And if you hold it together, just for a few minutes then you've got your little rose for the centre now I'm not going to use this one because it needs to dry so I have got one that I've already made so I'm just going to pop that to one side so once your rose is dry you're going to add glue to the centre of your flower and place your rolled rose right into the middle of it. Press it down and so the glue can take hold and then that is your flower finished and that's how I made the flowers for the project that we're going to use next. I wanted you to see how I made them because so many people ask for flower demonstrations but that's what I did. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of how to make my little flowers. Please tune in to the next project to see what I do with the flowers. If you've enjoyed this, please give me the thumbs up. If you've got any comments, anything you'd like to say, please do share it with us. If you know the number of this die, please pop it in the bottom because then other people can find it as well. And I'd just like to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch the card project next. See you again next time.